So in Project Draco, there currently is no parenting, but uh, I'm going to make an animation where these layers actually share a beeline, and it gives the illusion of parenting. So the first thing I want to do is um, let's start with a new scene that gives us a fresh canvas and a new layer, and I'm going to draw the uh, the block uh, of this uh, kind of pulley thing, but it's important that you know the shape and um, this is going to provide us with a rough outline. This is going to be our master beeline. There aren't a whole lot of tools in Draco to draw with, but um, you know, there's an undo, fortunately. But with a little bit of um, work, you can, you can get something that looks good to uh, give you kind of an idea of what your animation might be. And it uh, looks good. This is the master, so now what I want to do is choose an animation style. So in the lower right hand corner I'll choose beeline and I'm going to draw this. So here with my finger you can just draw your animation path. This is good and bad. The good part is that um, you can just draw this. The bad part is depending on how talented you are with uh, drawing an animation path on your iPad you might not get it right the first time but you can easily draw out iterations and practice until you do get it right and you want to make sure that you get this kind of smooth path and Draco will close that loop for you if you got close enough I'm getting closer that looks pretty good and uh, you can test this out so once you've got something that looks pretty good uh, in order to see if there are any little bumps in here just raise the path speed and then lower back down that looks pretty good so now you've got your base animation. Once that's done, go to the layers and duplicate the layer. Once you duplicate the layer, you get all of the image, plus you get the behavior duplicated as well. And this is what we're gonna use to create that appearance of linked uh, graphics. So we don't wanna change that beeline now. But I do wanna change the graphics, so I'll just remove by erasing the top part and I don't have to leave any markers, any stray pixels. The beeline stays intact. The anchor point doesn't move off of the original. So once I've got this, I'm going to go ahead and draw the, um, the bottom part. What is it gonna be? A, a chain. So I'll go in here and draw the chain. One thing is that sometimes the, uh, if you're drawing, it kind of falls out of this pause mode and starts playing again looks like pretty good and just kind of rough in this idea of a chain just draw around here like this and you get the idea right just kind of fill in this thing and uh, maybe grab the eraser and get that eraser take out the rest of this that looks pretty good all right so now let's zoom out here I've got the chain and here's another thing that uh, I've noticed is that you, Draco, actually uh, can have different layers, even though they share the same path, start at different times. So in the animation layout, I'm going to select the layer and choose the path, and then click on the path icon. And when you choose that, it sets it up so that it's at the start point of that path. So choose the layer, then click on that path icon, and it aligns that layer to the beginning of that animation path. And now it looks like those two things are linked. The next thing I want to do is duplicate that chain part again. And again, it's still copying the behavior. Now I get the linked graphic. I'm just going to remove the top part of that and head back into animation. And in animation, I can move that. So with the move tool, just move that, and when you move, uh, not draw, don't redraw the path, but select the layer and use the move tool, you can move that to a new location and take the entire path with you. So just use the move tool to move this kind of down here, where it looks like it might be hanging off of um, the other chain. I suppose I could use a mask shape there, but um, that's for another tutorial. Now, in the rotation tool, if uh, I zoom in here a little bit, you might be able to see that there is an anchor point. And this is separate from the path pivot. This is uh, this pivot uh, point 
is just for rotation. So by moving that, I still keep my uh, anchor point on the move tool, on the, um, the path rather, and I can go ahead and give this a little bit of a swing. That's probably too much, but eh, whatever. This is just the idea of taking these different layers. And again, I wanna link them up. I wanna make sure that I select the layer, click on path, select the layer, click on path. It lines those up. So when we play them, it gives that appearance of them being linked together. So the last part is the gears. So I'm going to, um, let's go ahead and stop this, move that layer up to the top and duplicate this again. So I've got this, um, that block layer. Again, it's my master beeline. So I'll just go ahead and draw it. We'll just turn those other layers off. Draw a gear just kind of quickly. It doesn't look great, but you get the idea. Make it rotate. All good. Go through those same steps of lining things up on the first path. But what's really great about this is that, um, and let's make sure that I've got the right layer selected and now move this up. So here's the great part, is that when I'm in the animation, I can go into the controls and choose the curve that governs scale. Because it's moving, um, I can have a new scale that's constant, that's maybe smaller. So if you click on the left-hand side of the graph, just clicking once, um, you can change the value. You can see that little dot is not actually where I'm drawing. That little dot is the um, animation, kind of the playhead, if you will. So I'll just take that and duplicate it up again, uh, and maybe have another uh, cog go the other way. Make this a little bit smaller, and uh, maybe move that over a little bit. Again, you want to stop it and make sure you align everything out with by clicking on the path for each layer. And once those are all aligned, you're good to go.